Hello guys and welcome to the third episode, or is it third or is it fourth? I do believe it's the fourth episode of Modsos 2. At least I am sure it's the second version of Modsos. Uh, we pretty much are going to take the story up where we left it before, with me on the roof of my house, where I've been trying to set up this cheaty skyblock way of ore generation. Well, it's actually not all that cheaty in that, as you can see, I've added considerably to the mess and it's now becoming quite complicated. So this system we more or less set up last time. Uh, the one addition I made to it is the pulverizer, which doubles the ores that come out of here. Uh, except for aluminium and osmium, for some reason it's not able to handle those. But everything else, it, it will pulverize to dust and then when they come to be smelted here, they will get smelted. And also it's, it's not working perfectly yet, it's having problems with glowstone. But that's okay. Uh, I added this line to it and this is basically the sagmel which is taking in... The sagmel basically turns cobble into sand with gravel as a secondary a secondary uh, product, We're not all that interested in the gravel. And then it goes into the hammer which makes dust. So basically I want to sieve the dust, mainly I was thinking about redstone, but you get things like blaze powder, bone meal which we see traveling there, and glowstone, and of course you get the metals in dust form as well. So that's all great, not really that interesting uh, interested in sieving sand because I don't really see what you get out of it. I can't, sh I could change my mind if I learn of something, but I did sieve some sand by sort of manually before I set up the second line and I got some cactus seeds, which you know was nice. I also got some ancient spores, which you could make to make used to make mycelium and mushrooms, which normally I'd be very happy with, except that, well, I sort of have all the mushrooms I want, plus some. I'm just gonna kill that slime. I don't know if it's this biome or something, but the place is overrun with green slimes, which, you know, normally I'd be very happy about. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm still happy. Although with slime islands everywhere, I I don't know if the slimes are really all that useful. But uh, all that frustration of slime hunting in vanilla Minecraft is showing it's... is still with me. Okay, so let's not get too distracted. This is sort of all that I wanted to show you. Uh, oh, let's grab some iron. Yeah, so it's made a reasonable amount of resources. However, it's probably... Well, th there was more, but I kept needing to make more machines and grabbing stuff from here. Uh, let's put our helmet on. Uh, I did add another turbine because I thought it was starting to run out of power. Uh, over here... I did finally get around to automating the lava production. It's still very slow, but it's okay. I don't need huge amounts of lava right now. So here's a basic skyblock lava and water cobblestone production thing. This has got a world interaction upgrade in it. The cobblestone gets pumped into the crucibles where it slowly melts into lava where it slowly gets pumped into this igneous extruder. There's an aqueous accumulator underneath it, and this makes us cobblestone. And you can see, oh, we are getting a nice amount of cobblestone. It's not going to keep this running forever because, well, eventually I will want to go to the nether and I think set up a pump. But let me just get rid of this. Oh, I no longer have space. Oh my god, need to set up some kind of system. Okay, let's not get rid of it. 
So the plan for today, the main things I want to achieve today is to get armor and a proper locomotion system because I haven't really been exploring yet because honestly this walking about it's disgraceful I mean this is modded Minecraft one should not have to walk so I am going to make some dark steel from Enderio to make the dark steel armor which is going to help us fly sort of well glide um, Really, I need 24 pieces plus 6 pieces for the glider wings. I don't really have enough of this pulverized coal. But this is going to work quite slowly because I haven't put any upgrades. Oh, I have more pulverized coal here. I haven't put any upgrades on it yet. But while it's cooking, Let's go and have a talk, have a look at our Botania garden because there is a Botania thing I need. But, well, I might as well take the things that I'm going to need for it. Which is a piece of string, a feather, and a carpet. So basically I want to make something called Rod of the Skies. which is here which is going to lift me up and it needs a feather and the rune of air needs a string feather and carpet and three mana mana irons i'm not going to do very much botania on screen because i've been using it quite extensively in the other packs i play so I'd just be repeating myself. But and there's some new magic mods in here that I really want to explore. But there are some ways in which Botania just works really well with... Uh, I need another piece of iron. In which Botania works really well with uh, Ender.io. Like in this sort of flying method, if I like. It's not really flying, but... It's not bad for the fourth episode. Okay, so here's the little Botania garden I made last time. It's got four hydrangeas, which are very loud, and these day blooms. And as you can see, it's managed to produce a considerable amount of mana. So I've also made myself a mana tablet, which I filled from this pool. And let's make the mana steel. And here is the runic altar to make the rune of air. We need to direct mana at it. I think this will do it. So, three pieces of mana steel string, carpet and... I believe feather. Oh, I just remembered all the things that I've forgotten. If you see what I mean. Like, I'm gonna need. Where are the white flowers, the pure daisies? Yes. I'm going to need some living rock. I don't know if I have living rock. I might. If I don't, I'm going to have to ask the living daisies. Now I do have some. And I have living wood as well because I think I'm going to need to make a stick from it. Is this ready now? No? Didn't I click on it? Is it not getting the mana? What is the matter with you? How can it fail me so terribly? Okay, now it's filling things up with mana. 
hopefully it will not take too long oh did I ever mention how I dislike making runes I don't know why actually it's not such a big thing it's just you know Okay, well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I exaggerate sometimes how much I dislike crafting. I mean, given that the main is called Minecraft, you'd think, and I really like the game, you'd think I wouldn't mind crafting so much. So I think this is going to be... I should make some of these other rods as well. They are actually quite useful. Yeah stick one of these here and what happened to the second feather i took oh don't do this to me game i'm sure i prepared two feathers and a rod of the skies so this is going to lift me up but quite high but I don't get any forward movement however if you combine this with a glider you can see that it can be pretty effective uh, so how are we doing with getting our glider not very well Well, I tell you what, let's make the glider wings. I think I need some leather for that as well. And then I think I might cut while and go and make myself a cup of tea. While the rest of that dark steel is cooking. I really want to go and explore because the, what I really like doing on a, in a new world is going around, you know, looking for various treasures and oh, and I really need ender pearls mostly I tried to I did there was one enderman around here and you know I tried to make him angry I looked at him etc etc and he just refused to engage totally ignored me and just zipped around so that was quite useless Okay, so I need at least eight to make the chest. So you attach this to the dark steel chest uh, in a, I don't know if I have enough levels. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I am going to make a cut here. I will investigate the levels and I will reconnect when everything is ready. Okay, so I have all the dark steel I need for my new armor. Right now this isn't going to be that much better or any better than iron but once I upgrade it and empower it and stuff it's going to have the protection level of diamond and once you up and once you put a few upgrades on it it will um the power will start absorbing damage so it can end up being excellent uh, so this needed 10 10 levels i had nine so i nipped down to the mining age and i mined and i mined some uh, just a bit of coal and i'm now at level 11. so this in combination so the nice thing about this is that it's got the glider attached. I mean, I know a lot of people like jetpacks with hang gliders. And this maybe isn't quite as good, but I think it's a lot easier to make compared to a jetpack. Let's just see. Ah, yes, the glider is active. We are gliding away. And it's probably gonna cause a lot of so yeah it's maybe not as great flight as you know with a jetpack maybe it doesn't give you quite as much control oh what's going on in here but it's 
quite cheap as you saw and I didn't even need to make the full dark steel armor I just needed why am I doing this what am I pressing I just needed the chest plate and you know my hands are free I don't know I just really like this as a method of flying I probably wouldn't use this in the nether I'm, I've, I'm afraid to use this in the nether because it doesn't really give you quite enough control when you need to like do precision landing but for exploring the overworld this is perfect so I am just going to fly around isn't it funny that it sort of gets misty around the edges uh, I've brought my sleeping bag with me. I've also made this backpack from compact storage in case I find anything interesting to find. So I am just going to spend some time flying around, getting to know the surroundings. I will let you know if I find anything interesting. So I found this magical forest and as you always do in magical forests there is the uh, spider thing. The only problem is it's all a little bit laggy. And laggy is not good when you are... Ha! Ah, I almost wish I hadn't made this. Ah, come on, where are my ender pearls? Right, I will continue my search. And another spider tree, not to mention one of those tower things. Ha, ah, ender pearl. A couple of these. Oh, maybe I should get into the computer craft stuff. Okay, let's put this in the bag. Another word would have been very useful. Except for the fact that I already have it. As and I have um, the ender boots. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. I'm almost tempted to sort of go and illusionary block. How very surprising. Yeah, you really don't want to be stepping up, stepping on these stone things. Like this one here. Ah, oh, not stone, spike things. Probably invisible plates. There, right. Well, and these are illusionary blocks too. The thing is, once you've done a few of these towers, and I've become very familiar with them when I was playing Hubris, you're not really that surprised by anything. Well, I am surprised by not finding anything here. Where's my treasure, mate? Did I come here for nothing? Really? Ah, no matter how careful I am. Wow. Feather falling far. Okay, I am guessing this is all we're going to get out of this tower. Which is, in fact, rather disappointing. 
That's, I guess, better than a poke in the eye. Let's get a few of these for repairing stuff. Oh, look, there's another tower there, right? I'm not going to bore you with with all this exploration. I'll just let you know if I find anything interesting. Oh, but I do want one of these to upgrade the boats. I think it gives you fast swimming in water. And there's something that looks like a structure there. So I think that might just be the willow tree. Okay, I'll go and see what I can find in that castle. I see a village ahead of me and I have heard some very interesting things about villages in this pack. So let's explore it fully. But yes, this is very pleasing. Oh, is there a spider tree? Yes, okay, let's get the spider tree first. Flint rapier. Ah, this is all rather disappointing. To tell you the truth. Where are my berries? Not my berries, my ender lilies. That is what I really want. I now have an ender pool so I can make end stone with obsidian in the smeltery. So a few ender lilies would be perfect. I mean all this other stuff, you know, it's not bad, but it's not exactly great. Okay, let's have a bit of a munch on some beef and let's see what's what these villagers have to offer us. Oh I can now grow potatoes and stuff. Hello! Okay, yeah, that could be useful. I'm actually doing quite well for emerald, so I don't know if it's all that useful. That looks like a rather... I really like that windmill. And it's just excellent. And what do we have in here? Oh, I think this is a... How do we get in there? Oh, is it one of those useful houses where the village... Ah, I really do like the road of the sky, but sometimes I feel it works a little bit too much. Professional fisher. You could be very useful, mate. In fact, I tell you what, I think I'm just going to grab you. You want to come with me, don't you? Is this guy blocked in? He is. I think he's uh, one of them. He could be useful too. I think he's RF Tools Dimension Things guy. Yes. Well, I'll talk to you later. Twelve cooked fish. Or a cascade. Oh, why is this dying? Who's dying? Okay, I tell you all, I'll just wander around here and 
Hmm, this looks interesting. I like that hat. How do we get into here? That is the question. I suspect this is the immersive engineering thing. Well, I don't know actually. I know nothing about it. Greetings. Oh, Baker. Oh, this is a bakery with a furnace. And he'll give me a... Okay, no, I don't think so. Oh no, if I have to, if I give him two bread, he will give me three emeralds. That's pretty good. Normally I would be very happy with that kind of offering. Okay, I'm just gonna explore this on my own. I've no idea what this is. Okay, I've opened many chests. I haven't found the uh, the ender lily yet. Ah, and here it is. I almost died in one of these uh, places. What is this? Oh, it's for portals. Uh, do I want the thermium sword? You know what? Not really. Okay, success. I have everything that I wanted to get. So I can... Oh, is that a tainted biome or is it one of those almost tainted biomes? I think it might be almost tainted. Anyway, now that I have my ender lilies, and a uh, division sigil. I shall go back home and start tilling the land like a reasonable person. Very pleased with this whole exertion. So I can use the one of the ender pearls. I found two ender pearls. I can use one of them in the smeltery over obsidian to make um, endstone. Oh, look, a slime island, but I shall not risk going anywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, so I can make endstone and get those ender lilies growing fast. Upgrade my armor to make it really good and do all the things, use all, you know, do all the things that I need and the release for. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here because I've been flying for ages and I am really quite bored of it. <laughs> I will see you in the next episode, by which time hopefully I will have a whole Ender Lily garden.